Welcome back to Seek Stan. No, we did not get a new studio yet, but we will have one coming in a few weeks. I'm at home because both myself, or both Fitz and I, have got the CVID. We've got the Rona. We've got the plague. <laughs> so, excuse me. So, uh, that's not a stage cough. So, we are at home. Uh, I got tested positive a few days ago. I tested positive for it. Not for drugs, just for the Rona. And then the same day, Fitz is like, fuck, I better get tested. Turns out he has the Rona. So, coming at you from the house, Sawalia, the shock at home. So, today's video is going to be on something someone brought up recently. And they were like, could you do a video running through your different programs? They're like, I'm sure a lot of other people are probably wondering about the same thing. So, I'm going to go through all of the programs we currently have. And I'm going to go through some of our future programs coming this year. Now... If you want to skip to that, I'll put the little time along the bottom, or if you want to go that way, probably. So if you want to skip to that and see what's coming in the future, if you already have some of our programs, you already know what we've got. So if you haven't, if you don't know what programs we have, I'm going to run through them here, give a little synopsis, and give you a little talk through a little bit of, about them, so you can make a decision if any of these might suit you and they might be useful for you. One thing just to note, if you buy any of our programs, this will give you access to the Facebook group. There's nearly a thousand people, I think, in the Facebook group at the moment. We do uh, weekly live streams for people to leave their videos and questions in a thread, and we'll go through them in a live stream. And people make great use out of that, and people who make the use out of that make great progress, especially for those who are weightlifters who use that. Uh, their technique improves drastically because we can get kind of a little bit hands on with them and improve them, give them things to work on, and they'll go back and work on that. Then they'll hit their BBs. So, any program you get access to the Facebook group, and it will be a Facebook group for the foreseeable future. I've got my remarkable. No, that's not a sponsored ad, but I'm still getting. Still getting fucking ads for them, uh, even though we bought some. Very useful, by the way. Uh, again, not sponsored. I might even take that out. So, first up, we'll start with the weightlifting. So, our programs for our weightlifters. So, we have our beginner weightlifting program. So, that is 12 weeks in length, four sessions a week. It includes all of your snatch, your clean and jerk, pulls, squats, presses, and any assistance exercise we deemed necessary that we thought would be useful for a beginner weightlifter. In general, people up to about 120 can run this program and do it quite well. We've had some intermediate lifters, so beginner isn't really the length of time you've been lifting. It's more the numbers you're, you're lifting currently. So we've had people lifting for two or three years, doing things like 19, 115 and run the program and done it quite successfully. We've also had very, very early beginners run the program. So people literally two or three weeks in are no experience at all with the lifts and we've helped them a little bit more personally. But we've had beginners, people doing like 60 and 70, kind of 60 and 80 are people who we thought about running initially this program for. And we put them into this program and they've done great. A lot of those very early stage beginners actually run the program twice. So they're getting a lot of value out of the program. So they'll just immediately run it again. Uh, some people who won't be able to run the program again probably are people who are very strong already before coming to the Olympic lifts. So if you someone doing like 70 and 100, for example, but they're squatting like 180, 190, we do see they don't do as well for the second run around because their numbers are quite strong and they make quite big progress in the initial running of the program and they kind of leave that amateur kind of intermediate or beginner stage behind pretty quickly if they give it a good go so if you've done the beginner program what people move on to then is their kind of mainstay of weightlifting this is our block program so it's four weeks per block four sessions per week and each week has two assistance exercises that take about 15 to 20 minutes depending on how long you have in the gym or how fast or slow you do them so there's four main sessions and then two very short assistance exercises so these are often done with the other sessions so again four days a week you can do the program in if you wanted to do weightlifting or seeker strength and you're beyond the beginner this is the program you want to do this is our continuous program this is what people run uh, run it very well and four days a week is kind of that sweet spot where we get people who are full-time athletes or full-time students full-time workers parents uh, whatever it is they're doing that's the program we put people on and that's that's kind of like our mainstream weightlifting program that's the weightlifting program from seek strength and will remain so far the foreseeable future then we'll move on to our specific kind of tactical program so this is for a snatch or a clean and there will be a jerk program in the future but right now we have the snatch and the clean and there's three snatch programs on the website there is a week overhead one so this is literally people who for example might always power snatch and have trouble kind of full snatching a bar because they're weak overhead they lack stability or people who have quite good mobility for example but lack a lot of stability this program is very very useful for them spills up a lot of overhead work 
All of these programs are two sessions per week. They are eight weeks in length. None of these programs have the squats in them. They just have pulls or related pulls or assistance exercises with those. But these are kind of more tactical. These are more to kind of slot into your program. So we have weak overhead. We have uh, swinging the bar. So it's kind of a weak pull program. So people who swing the bar an awful lot. Uh, this focuses more on this and there's more complexes related to that. Again, eight weeks, two sessions per week. Then we just have a good old fashioned snatch new PB program. So just a peak your snatch in eight weeks. We'll see a lot of our kind of crossfitters run this. They're like, oh, I'm going to get my snatch up. And I'll give it like two months and they'll kind of fit this into their training. Get a new snatch PB and Bob's your uncle finds your aunt and they're finished. Then we have our clean and power clean program. So this again is eight weeks in length, two sessions per week. This focuses on your clean or your power clean. So for your clean, there's specific variations and there's a pathway in the program that you can run. And then if you're doing this for a power clean, so in, in general, the power clean is what a lot of uh, kind of athletes will do. So a lot of will have like soccer players, basketball players, rugby players will run the power clean variation. So you just need to get the program and then you follow which kind of pathway you want to go down like robert frost two rows diverged you go i'm doing this for the full clean so you do these variations and then if you're doing for the power clean you follow the power clean variations and both of those will get you to that point so then you'll max your power clean or your full clean at the end then lastly we just have a getting back to training and weightlifting so if you've had an extended time off if you have had the rona if you got very sick or for other reasons you've not been training this is just a month long four weeks four sessions per week a lot of mobility a lot of general exercises to get back into weightlifting prep so you might do this and then do our beginner program or do our weightlifting program moving on then to our squat bench and deadlift or squat press and deadlift slash powerlifting kind of stream of programs we obviously have the row 10 year squat program this is eight weeks in length two sessions per week and one session has your assistance work this um you know this is by far the most popular program it's our staple squat program we've literally had people i think the biggest is 50 or 55 kilo pbs on the program uh men and women have run this program incredibly successfully literally thousands of people have run this program and it's done incredibly well and we're super pleased with that so you know what it is squat program eight uh, eight weeks two sessions per week the road to your squat program then we have our pressing program or our express program so this is our pressing program eight weeks in length for your strict press or your bench you can do this uh, alongside any of the other kind of specific programs so it is eight weeks two sessions per week all your pressing and assistance related pressing work that we think you need for bigger strict press or bench press just enter whichever max you want to increase into the website when you're getting it and then you will get that program and run it for that then we have our Sika pull program. So this is our deadlift program. This is 10 weeks in length, a little bit longer. The deadlift needs a little bit more accumulation phase, a little bit more volume. This is two sessions per week. And this is what it says in the thin. This is to get you a deadlift to be. We had some weightlifters run this program, for example, and they've run it and hit better, you know, got a stronger pull if they particularly lacked in it. But most of this is for people just looking for a big deadlift and it works incredibly well also. Then we have our powerlifting program. So this is mostly for people who want a squat bench and deadlift or uh, competitive powerlifters. So this is literally squat bar powerlifting, squat bench and deadlift program. So this is geared towards more people who compete in powerlifting. So there'll be things in this program like comp bench and it'll be like close grip bench or it'll be like comp squat or high bar squat. So it'll have some slight variations. You don't have to be a competitive powerlifter program. Loads of people run this program and they're not competitive powerlifters. These are literally people who just want to get stronger general strength training squat bench and deadlift and it works incredibly well for those there'll be a series of new blocks coming out soon for that we're nearly finished them so if you've been waiting on those the first four blocks are on the website uh if you've been waiting for those they'll be out shortly in the next few weeks they'll be up on the website and they will be there for you to power it next up we have stuff for our athletes so people are kind of a little bit more specific we have our off-season athletes, so this can be, you can be a strength-based athlete, if a weightlifter or powerlifter, you can run this, or what we see a lot of it, like off-season rugby players, off-season soccer players, off-season athletics, throwers, whatever, they'll run this program, and then they might run the maybe power clean program after, so this is literally work capacity, GPP stuff, uh, all of the strength-based aspect of that, so not the conditioning aspect, but literally like, you know, 10s, 12s, bit of volume, bit of can, hypertrophy stuff. Uh, stuff to get you in good shape general physical capacity training so off season there's two blocks of this eight weeks that's 
should be all you'll need really for most people in terms of an off season then you might move into a power phase or something like that uh so that's been around for a long time and a lot of people have gotten in great shape and they've run it through multiple off seasons to get themselves in better shape for each kind of season then we have our Sika strength for fitness athletes so this is basically our strength training for crossfit program obviously we can't call it that because of the aggressive lawyers and solicitors at uh, crossfit hq so that is basically what it is for fitness athletes anyone who does competitive fitness runs this program this is you know all squat bench deadlift snatch clean jerk midline work pressing stuff so this is stuff that is kind of mechons e or emobs in this kind of complexes that you'll see in crossfit competitions amateurs intermediate crossfitters can run this for a period of time and do very very well out of it and get some in great shape and great strength training uh picking up a lot recently in the last few months one of the programs where i'll just be honest we just didn't you know we didn't see a huge market for in the last kind of year during the lockdowns obviously for obvious reasons a lot of our crossfitters just came at us for their weightlifting or strength training and ran those but it recently a lot of people are running the fitness athletes again which is quite interesting to see the uptake in this and maybe see what kind of audiences interact with us too so that's interesting then we've got a great little one is our 10 week oh sorry apologies uh just for the off season the fitness athletes both of those again are four weeks per block four sessions per week then we have our 10 week combat sports program so this is our one uh, block of combat sports program so 10 weeks six weeks of strength training all the stuff you'll need for a combat sport boxers jiu-jitsu judo kickboxing any one of that kind of stuff this stuff is right up your alley this is what you need this is all your strength work for that and then there's four weeks after the first six weeks of a power phase just a couple of caveats or a couple of notes about the combat sports program obviously a lot of you guys are recreational combat sports athletes so you might be like fuck there's no way i could do four combat sports or sports strength training sessions plus maybe two more of, of my combat sport my sport specific work in my actual the sport you're doing so what you see a lot of people do is just literally extend the program out to nearly 20 weeks so they'll do like two sessions uh per week and they'll split one week over two weeks so it'll be like two sessions so day one and day two week one on the first week and then day two or sorry day three and day four on the next week following so they kind of get that extended period of training obviously it's not as effective if you can fit all that volume in one week but it's still very very effective and it'll get you what you need and it'll get you consistently strength training and to be honest with you what we see a lot of you know combat sports athletes um you guys just don't understand how strong you can be like how much strength realization you can get and how much it'll benefit you in your combat sport like you've you just like what and i've seen it you know i've been a lot of jiu-jitsu lately and i've been loving it and you just it's mind-blowing i just don't think some of you guys can like just yes kind of conceptualize just how much strength is available for you and how useful that strength is and just how strong you can be as a person and how just fucking manhandling you can get with people if you get strong enough so i'd highly recommend get your strength on if you're a combat sports athlete for sure um so that's a great one and then obviously we have people just run the program over their 10 weeks and we've a lot of people really running that program which is great love to hear people are rerunning programs because you're getting your money's worth but also it means the program did what you needed to do when you felt like you got benefit from it and so that's a great sign from our point of view so let us know if you've been rerunning any of those now onto the juicy bits if you are a well-established member and you've ran our programs and you've been looking for certain things from us there's quite a long list here this is not a comprehensive list but this is the most immediate concerns for us of our future programs so our future programs will be obviously seek a hops or plyometric we asked you guys if you wanted a plyometric program and loads of you said that and you've been saying it in subsequent videos asking will we do a plyometric or our seek a hops or hop program and yes that is basically first on the list after the new blocks of powerlifting that will be a little bit different but it will be certainly a program that we will be doing then we have our body armor seek armor or hypertrophy so this is kind of a program this will be a lot different to other programs this will be something kind of like an index of work you can do and some progressions for that so if you're like oh my i'm coming back from an injury and the physio says you've done your rehab but you need really strong hamstrings and this will be a program where we can give you a selection of things to do for your hamstring uh hamstring work and progressions for that and options for it and then you'll be able to go fuck my hamstrings are way better or your coming or your coach says to you um i need a stronger back or you're a climber and you're something you need a stronger back or whatever this will be this program where you can go i need a stronger back and then it'll give you the options and progressions for several weeks how to progress 
uh, what we feel would be best for that to progress your specific body parts. So kind of stability and hypertrophy and strengthening of specific areas. So that'll take obviously a lot of work, but I think it'll be a popular one. Then we're going to do a bench only version. So there's higher frequency bench for the press program. So it'll be the strict press version, but then there'll also be the, and there will also be an option just for bench. So it's higher frequency of benching uh, and it'll get you sorted for your bench. So that'll be just an option there. Then we will be doing a road to anywhere part two. So for any of you guys who've ran the program, you'll be like, oh my God, is there, we're doing a second part to the road to anywhere. We're going to do a second variation loads you guys have run it multiple times so we want to give you guys another option we want to give you something different to do we want you to further progress a lot of you guys have ran the program like three times uh, i think that's the most we've been aware of and hit pvs each time which is great because it's been out for a long time but we want to give you a part two another further progression to go with that that'll be a while in the making but keep an eye out for that then we will have some other sports specific in-season programs. So stuff like, you know, in-season rugby or isn't season kind of uh, sprint or something like that. You know, a little bit more specific because they're, they're very niche, of course, but they're things that people want. We want to give you those options. They're also very, very necessary and very, very useful for athletes. And so if there's a want and a need for those and a desire, then if they kind of ticks those two boxes, a want and a, and a need, uh, we'll, you know, happy to bust in there and give you some of the options from our point of view that should help you. Then we will have a 12 week female weightlifting program. So there is some nuances and there's differences to coaching female weightlifters and obviously female athletes in general, but specifically for weightlifting, there is different options and there's obviously a huge plethora of female weightlifters in the game at the moment, which is great to see, but we want to give a specific, just a little bit different uh, to other programs it's not that they can't run our other programs, uh, they definitely can, but there's gonna, you can maximize it a little bit more, I think. So we're gonna give a 12 week female weightlifter option and that will be sooner on the list than it is here. Then we have an eight week uh, weightlifting peaking block. So literally just, that'll be coming out at some point. It'll just be eight weeks to peak for competition. So just a little bit more of an extended, more intense uh, peaking training session for, or training sessions for weightlifting. Then our jerk only program, which I think I mentioned earlier. And then, Finally, the last one, I think this is probably the most interesting for a lot of you guys watching. You know, when we go to like a lot of commercial gyms or anytime you meet people on the street, and they're like, oh, I love the channel. I'm like, oh, and I always ask people what they do. If you're watching this, you'll know and you've met me. I always want to know what you're doing. I want to know who's watching the channel and what are you getting from it? Um, and it, people, a lot of times people are just saying things like, "I'm oh, I'm just starting five by five or I'm just starting doing strong lifts or something like that. Uh, <coughs> Or can you get coronavirus through the camera? So they'll say things like, I'm doing like strong lifts or I'm doing 5G1 or something like that or 5x5. Five five. And it's obviously a huge gap where it's literally, we're going to do something, just a basic strength training program. Just literally, it's your first month in the gym, first six months in the gym. You've barely any training experience. So it's a very bare bones, basic beginner strength training program. You've just learned you love strength training. You're like, what program can I do to seek strength of anything to offer? So that will be something coming your way. If you have any other specific questions about the programs, let me know in the comments. If you've ran one of the programs, please let us know in the comments and let know people know how you're getting on because this will be a video people will come back to. So obviously we want people to see, oh, I ran the beginner weightlifting program and I got a 20 kilo PB in my total or I ran the squat program and I got a 25 kilo PB or whatever. So that'll just help things an awful lot. If you plan on running a if you're looking forward to any of these future programs, let us know so we can have an idea of what people want most soonest and we can get on that sooner. And if you've bought any programs, that's health and fits. Wholeheartedly, thank you an awful lot. It means a lot to us and we've gotten this far with your guys' support, so it means a lot to us. So it all goes noticed and we really appreciate it and we love seeing you guys hit BBs. And we love when people tell us you hit BBs because it's very reassuring for us. At the start, people used to tell us more because obviously it was a little bit more intimate with people uh now obviously you know literally thousands of people run the programs so we don't see as much back from people uh so we really like to hear when people do hit bbs it means a lot to us and obviously it means a lot to you guys because you're hitting bbs if you're wondering who's snoring it's bailey bailey is snoring she doesn't have rona she's just snoring it's very snuggly okay thanks for watching guys